I was in a small town, so it was kind of like one record store. I just walked there after school and picked up uh, picked up my records, a lot of 45s that I would buy there too. At that time when you're, I don't know, maybe grade seven, grade eight, the music is really, really important. And um, it's like one of the most important things for me at the time. So yeah, very excited by, by new, uh, new releases. I'm Jeff Locke, and this is my first NAD. I grew up listening to uh, whatever my parents were listening to. So at the time it was uh, things like Bob Dylan, the Jefferson Airplane, um, we listened to a lot of like Rolling Stones. Even my grandparents were big, big music fans. They had a really nice hi-fi at home as well. Theirs was generally the Glenn Miller kind of big band um, era of music, but they loved music. My grandma loved dancing, so there was always music on at their house too. So when I first got into audio, um, and I had moved out on my own. I picked up what I could afford at the time, uh, which is a pretty decent stereo system. But unfortunately, about a year after being there, my place was robbed and didn't have the money to replace it at the time. So I had to go out to like thrift shops and I found, uh, found a, a pretty bad amplifier. I grabbed some speakers that I uh, purchased out of the back of a van. So not a terribly legitimate purchase, um, but it was cheap, it was maybe $120. And that's the system that I used for probably a good 20 years. I upgraded briefly when I found on Garbage Day, um, some of my neighbors had put out some pretty nice bookshelf speakers at the time. But then I was just thinking like, I've been working for 20 years, I've got a decent job, I gotta have like a little self-respect here, I shouldn't be like dumpster diving for audio, I should actually invest a little money in this hobby. So after going to a local kind of hi-fi audio shop, I um, auditioned some equipment. Um, listened to, they had a lot of NAD amplifiers and they just sounded great. They had the most value, best build quality, just a really nice, accurate sound reproduction. It sounded crystal clear, so I was uh, sold. I picked up the NAD C356 BEE. It's, it's high-end audio, but for good value. Like when I was comparing it with other things in and around that price point, it just seemed to make, make the most sense. I think simple, clean, and sturdy. Like it, it, it weighs a lot. I feel like it's gonna be around for many, many years. Uh, when I first brought it home and uh, set it all up, hearing hearing your own records again in your own space, but the difference between uh, my own my old ridiculous amplifier and uh, the under underpowered speakers, just you know hearing one of my favorite records for the first time again, it was really really different, and I couldn't believe what I was dealing with or allowing myself to deal with for the last 20 years. So it was just like a breath of fresh air. Music, is, I mean. It's kind of cheesy, but it is the soundtrack of your life, and it's um, you remember traveling that you've done, friends that you've had, you know, concerts you've gone to, um, you know, memories from school. You kind of attach it to music, and I think that's pretty special. So, if I was to give advice for someone looking to get into audio or music, um, you know, spend some time with it. Definitely um, read reviews online, but go into some stores where you can actually audition the equipment and hear it for yourself. You know, spend a little bit of money on it. It's it's well worth it uh, for the kind of joy that music can, can bring you and, and definitely does for me on a weekly basis.